Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how we share in given ratios. So there's a few different um, sort of types of question they can ask here, but the solution or the working for it is always the same for me. I always stick the ratio into a table. Okay, it just makes everything easy to see what's going on. Um, and can sometimes actually make a potentially confusing question quite easy. So let me explain what I mean with the first example here. So we've got Ken and Susan share 20 pounds in the ratio of one to three. Work out how much each person gets. So again, like I said, I'm gonna put it into a table. So I'm gonna write K for Ken and S for Susan. And with a table, I want you to always write down the total, okay? And all we do is write down the ratio, one to three. So one to three means that if Ken's first, Ken gets one. And then Susan's next, so she gets the three. So in total, I have four, okay? And they're sharing 20 pounds. So Ken doesn't get 20, Susan doesn't get 20. They are sharing, so the total is 20 pounds. That's what they're doing, okay? So this is how I'm filling in my table. And all you do is you ask yourself, how do I go from four to 20, well I times it by five. So if I'm timesing this by five, you need to also times this one by five. So three times five is 15, so that's 15 pounds, and times this one by five. So one times five is five pounds, okay? Just make sure your answer's really nice and clear. I know it may look like it's nice and clear in here. Ken gets five, uh, Susan gets 15. But in the exam, it's always worth just making it really clear, saying Ken gets five pounds and Susan gets 15 pounds. Okay, to make it really clear, and of course you can check it, five add 15 is 20, so happy days, it works. Uh, same thing for this one. Even if you've got three, don't let it put you off, just draw a table. So I'm gonna use C for Kean, J for Geordie, N for Nina, don't forget to write the total. And so Keen's first, first number is two, so Keen gets two. Geordie's next, he then gets three. And Nina is ne uh, the last one there, so she gets four. So the total, two add three is five, add four is nine. And they are sharing, so again, in total, they are sharing 36 sweets. So I'm gonna write 36 there. And again, I need to work out what do I times nine by to get to 36. Now, obviously this is quite a nice one. I'm just gonna times by four. But if it wasn't very nice, the way to work that out is just go the other way. So if you were unsure about that, just do 36 divided by nine. So 36 divided by nine gets you four. So if you divide by four that way, you'd have to times by four to get this way. So if you're unsure of how to work that bit out, just go backwards and do 36 divided by nine. But that's what we do, we times by four, so I'm gonna times all of these by four, which leaves me with 16. Three times four is 12, and two times four is eight. Okay, so eight, 12, 16. When you add them up, you do get 36, so that's fine. And it says, how much do they each get? So again, I'm gonna make my answer really clear. So Kim will get eight sweets. Geordie will get 12, and Nina gets the 16, okay? So by putting it into a table, makes it all nice and clear, really easy to spot what's going on, nice easy working, nice clear answer. Okay, so there's some of the basic ones. Let's have a look at something slightly trickier. So here is my next example. Carl and Steph share pocket money in the ratio of seven to two. This is where it's different. If Carl has 42 pounds, how much was shared? So no difference in the method. I'm gonna write K for Carl, uh, S for Steph, and then I'm gonna put my total in the table. It's seven to two, which gives me a total of nine. Okay, now in this case, I don't put the 42 in the total because it says that Carl has 42 pounds. So in the column for Carl, what I'm gonna do is put 42 pounds. And then I'm gonna spot what I need to do. So seven times by what gets 42. Again, if you're unsure, go backwards. 42 divided by seven is six. So I need to times by six. Do the same thing here, times by six 
is £12, and the same here, times by 6, um, is £54. And again, just check it, 42, add 12, 54, yep, that's fine. So how much was shared in total? Well, £54 would be your answer. It could equally ask, how much did Steph get? In which case, just look at your table and say, well, she got £12. But in this question, it just says what was shared or how much was shared. So in this case, it was 54 so, slightly different in the fact of how we fill it in. Here we go, here's another one. Bob, Carly and Dave share marbles in the ratio of 2, 5 to 10. Carly has 27 more than Bob. How many does Dave have? So again, bit of ratio, draw a table. So, Bob for B, C for Carly, D for Dave. And my total. So the ratio would be 2 for Bob, 5 for Carly and 10 for Dave, and then that's a total of 17. Now in this case, the total column doesn't actually come in handy because it tells us that Carly has 27 more than Bob. So what it's actually doing is comparing the difference between Carly and Bob. So all I'm gonna do is just gonna add another column on my table called diff, just means difference. So what is the difference between Carly and Bob? Well, difference between two and five is three, in the actual question, the difference is 27. So I'm going to put 27 underneath there and ask myself, how do I go from 3 to 27? Well, I times by 9. So same thing for all these, times by 9. So that's going to give me 18. Times by 9 gives me 45. Times by 9 gives me uh, 90. And again, so you didn't need this, but if you did want to just do it fully, uh, times by 9 gives us 153. Okay. And then it says, how much did, uh, did Dave have? Well, there's Dave. He gets 90. Okay. So it's just a slightly different one here. Sometimes they throw in to do a curveball. But if it's talking about the difference between two people or two things, that's absolutely fine. Just have a look at the difference here. Add a column on. Fill it in. Work out what you've got to do and it's the same, okay? And one last little thing just to tidy up the ratios is what do we do if it asks you to write it as a fraction? So here we go, here's a question here. The ratio of boys to girls in a school is two to three. What fraction of these students are boys? So it's no different to the method we've done. We stick it into a table. So I have boys girls, and I have total. Now what most people will do is go, oh, it's two thirds, two out of three. But if you put it into a table, where we have two to three with a total of five, hopefully this you won't fall into that trap. What fraction of these students are boys? Well, there's two boys out of a total of five. So we say it's two fifths. Likewise, if the question said, what fraction of these students are girls? Well, girls is three out of a total of five. So I'll just put that as, that's what boys it would be. And this is what girls would be, okay? So by drawing a table like that, hopefully you won't fall into that trap of doing two over three because the total is five. So yeah, hopefully that helps guys. Sharing ratio, draw a table, makes everything easier. Thanks for watching.